This is going to be a somewhat quick video talking about the Dan Clark Stealth. It looks pretty cool and is $4,000, but does it actually sound good? Here is the frequency response for the Dan Clark Stealth. As you can see, it tracks the Harman target very closely, that is until higher frequencies at least. But from an over your headphone perspective, this is essentially the highest performing headphone on the market. Regardless, all over your headphones are terrible and cucked by design. They only operate as minimum phase devices until about 2 to 3 kHz, at which point you run into cone breakup and reflections, which cause phase cancellations, meaning regions which cannot be fixed with equalization. For example, the dip you see around 9 kHz on most headphones is in fact audible and is a phase cancellation, therefore it cannot be EQ'd. And as you can see, the Stealth has the same issue. However, for measuring speakers at the eardrum, we know that we want to peak around 8 to 10 kHz for accurate treble reproduction, meaning the Dan Clark Stealth cannot reproduce treble accurately. The only other issue worth pointing out is the 6 kHz peak, which is actually multiple issues in one. In the left channel measurement, we see a huge 6 kHz peak. This causes sibilance and a lot of harshness. Compared to the channel without the peak though, we can see that the bass tracking is more accurate, and there is less of a dip around 9.5 kHz. When the driver is damped more and the 6 kHz peak is reduced, bass tracking becomes worse, and the 9.5 kHz dip becomes substantially worse. You can see Audio Science Review calling this the best headphone in the world, and I'm inclined to agree. But as almost all over your headphones are terrible, what is the other option? If you want true high fidelity treble performance, you need IEMs or speakers. Then we have the issue of leakage tolerance with closed back headphones. For example, here is the Mr. Speakers Ether 2. Mr. Speakers is the name of the brand before it became Dan Clark Audio. As you can see, simply using glasses or having a lot of hair completely kills the low frequency performance. You might have noticed, but once Amir started wearing the Dan Clark Stealth in his videos, he stopped wearing glasses. Not only are IMs higher fidelity in the treble, you can actually wear glasses and not care about your hair. There are some open back headphones with incredible leakage tolerance, but the rest of the frequency response is complete garbage. In conclusion, just don't buy over your headphones. Use IEMs or speakers instead. With that said, I would like to give a shout out to Ninja Coma 3, Hamidicus Tungaritis, Senivri, and Vsauce 4. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. If you want to support the realist audio reviewer, donate through PayPal to Ganyo1 at gmail.com. Super chat donations in your comments or join the channel membership for $4.99 a month for a shout out at the end of each video, as well as a special role in the Discord server with text to speech permissions. If you want me to review a product, specify the product in your donation. If you would like to talk to people about anything audio related and much more without the fear of getting banned for no reason, join the Apple House Sound Discord server linked in the description. As usual, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with your friends. Have a nice day.